Hey guys, Matt Coleman here with Digital Marketer. Today, we're gonna talk about five optimization secrets hiding inside your YouTube analytics. This is a summary of one of our blog posts written by Adam Lincolnauger with Get More Views. You can click on the link in the description box below to read the full article. I'm just gonna come out and say it, analytics are boring. But what if analytics could actually make you money, affect your bottom line, and help you define your customer avatar? Your YouTube analytics can help you do all three. You just need to know where to look. The amount of insight you're able to gather about your audience and the ability to gauge their interest in your content is incredible. But the gold mine is in the data about website traffic, lead generation, and sales for your business. I'm gonna show you five ways to use YouTube analytics to not only better the performance of your videos, but how to optimize your business as a whole. But first, let's start with the basics. First, click on the Creator Studio button in the top right-hand corner. Then scroll down to Analytics. You'll immediately see a detailed list of metrics. Now for the fun part. I'll save you the trouble of deciphering and explain the data you need to concentrate on. Number one, use YouTube Analytics to craft the perfect marketing message. Do you know who's actually watching your videos? What if I told you your viewing audience may be completely different than what you expected? By clicking on the Demographics tab, you can quickly determine the age and location of the people actually watching your YouTube videos. You can see here that 94% of the viewers for Freak Athletics are male and 95% of their viewers are between the ages of 13 and 34. This makes it clear that the vertical jump training videos are being seen by the athlete and not the parent. The typical age of an athlete's parent who is looking to jump higher would be between 35 and 44 for the age group, which is only 8% of their viewers. The moral of the story is that once you know who's actually watching your videos, you can adjust the voice and language to connect with them. For example, they would talk to an athlete differently in their videos than they would to a parent. They might say, hey man, you're here to jump higher, instead of, if you have a child looking to jump higher. Being able to craft your marketing message to appeal to your exact viewers is powerful. Number two, use analytics to rank higher in search. How engaging are your videos? Does your audience enjoy your content? You may think so, but how do you know for sure? Do they watch every second or do they leave immediately? If you scroll down to your video retention rate, you can see the average watch time for each video. Retention rate is very important because it's what Google uses to judge whether your video is interesting to the viewer. Higher retention rate equals higher search rankings. If you can keep the attention of your audience the longest, you win. If your average audience retention is under 25%, they suggest that you decrease the length of your videos. Why? This means a lot. This means that your videos aren't being seen by the right audience. Your videos aren't engaging, or you aren't providing content that the viewer expected when they clicked over to your video. So how do you increase the retention rate? Put yourself in the viewer's shoes. Because their market is 13 through 17 years old, they know that they have a very eager attention span, and this causes them to leave quickly. The easiest way to maintain watch time is to create content your target audience is starving for and deliver it quickly and effectively. Here's a quick tip. After you've collected enough data, start to decrease the length of your videos moving forward to match your ideal retention time. This will increase the percentage of your video watched. Tip number three, use YouTube analytics to increase traffic to your website. This is where they really start to optimize their business. We're talking about website traffic, leads, and sales. Their goal is to turn as many viewers into leads as possible. This is done through YouTube annotations. They're kind of like clickable billboards that allow you to send traffic from your videos to your website. By looking at individual video analytics, you can see dips and spikes within your video where your viewers are engaged and when the majority leave. Once you verify where your traffic is typically leaving each video, you will want to add an annotation to your website, ideally your lead magnet, about 10 seconds before. Analytics tells us where the average viewer is gonna leave your video. So let's turn as many of these soon to exit viewers into leads as possible. Add an associated website annotation before the dip with a clear call to action to give the viewer a reason to click. You can see a dramatic increase in views to your website and leads by simply adding an annotation to your website before the viewer leaves. Tip number four, use YouTube analytics to increase annotation conversions. One of their favorite analytics features is the ability to see click-through rates on their annotations. By viewing annotation click-through rates, you can actually see which annotations are connecting with your viewers and which ones are not. Inside of annotation analytics, you can track the click-through rate for each annotation you display. By adjusting the time on the annotations, you will likely see a large bump in conversions. 
Next, adjust the copy of your annotations to match higher converting annotation copy from other videos. Aim to have at least a 1% click-through rate on your annotations to your free gift. Tip number five, use YouTube analytics to collect data for paid advertising. Using analytics is extremely important whenever it comes to gathering information for paid advertising. You can use YouTube analytics to craft the perfect marketing message and to find your targeting whenever it comes to paid advertising, whether that's on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. By seeing which videos get the most views, you can decipher which subjects of your videos are most popular to your market. This allows you to create ads that hit pain points or spark interest for your market. In terms of targeting, you can use analytics to really dial in on the people that are actually watching your videos. As you can see, you can look at the most popular countries, gender, and the age group of the people who are watching your videos. For example, with their channel, 92% of their viewers are males, so they're going to run ads to offers that relate more to them. Also, they have three different age groups that consume most of their videos, 13 through 17, 18 through 24, and 24 through 35. This is important not only whenever it comes to creating different offers, but targeting as well. So their ideal customer that they would want to target would be an 18 through 34 year old male from the United States. As you can see, YouTube analytics are a goldmine of information that you can use to optimize and grow your business. You can leverage this data to not only get more views on YouTube, but to turn those viewers into subscribers, leads, and sales. Want to learn more about YouTube marketing? Be sure to click on this video right now to watch our series on how to use YouTube cards. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos just like this one. I'm Mac Holman with Digital Marketer, and thanks for watching.